Yo, I'm Hash on top. I'm going to try to show you how to use Voice Meter Banana for streaming. Step one is to download and install both Voice Meter Banana and VB Cable Virtual Audio Device. Step two is you're going to have to set your hardware input to your microphone device. Make sure B1 and B2 are selected. Also, you're going to have to go over to Hardware Input 2 and select Cable Output VB Audio Virtual Cable. Make sure A1 is selected. Now, over here in Hardware Out, the top right, select A1 and make sure your listening device, your, your speakers, your headset, whatever you listen to the sound on your computer, make sure that is selected. Now, once you have that set up, you're going to hit Windows key S and type in Sound. Go to Sound Settings. You're going to choose your new output device. It's going to be Speakers or VB Audio Virtual Cable. It might not say Speakers, but make sure it says VB Audio Virtual Cable. That's your new output device. Your input device is going to be voice meter aux output. Make sure it's the aux output. It'll say voice meter aux VAIO. It might not say have the same beginning, but it should say VB audio voice meter aux VAIO. That's going to be your default input device. That's what your games are going to pick up. That's what uh, Discord is going to pick up. Anyway, you should be able to see your music, your desktop audio lighting up in the second bar. And the first bar should be your microphone. Now, to set it up in OBS, you're going to go to, oof, down here at your audio mixer, properties, make sure your um, desktop audio is set to VB Audio Virtual Cable, and make sure your mic is set up to Voice Meter Output VB Audio Voice Meter VAIO. This is not the au the AUX one, just regular VB Audio Voice Meter VAIO. It's important that that's different because if it's not, when you use the macro button to mute so that your teammates can't hear you, your stream is also not going to be able to hear you. Anyway, you're going to have to go to macro buttons. Whoops, I don't need a Windows update. We're cool on that. Open up your macro buttons. And you're going to right click on one of them to edit it. So the button name is push to mute. The type is two positions. Sub name is not really important. You can do whatever you want. Keyboard shortcut is personal preference. I have mine set to alt delete, but that's only because I have alt delete set to a mouse macro on my mouse. That's a different Logitech setting. I can get into that if you need help. Just let me know in the comments. Anyway, uh, request for initial state, leaving that blank. Request for button on is bus or mute equals one. Make sure you type it exactly like this. I'll have it also in the description. And request for button off is the same thing, but mute equals zero instead of mute equals one. The rest, you just leave default, hit okay. And then when you test it out, you should see over here in voice meter, you can see my mic lighting up at the far right on both of these when I'm talking. Now, when I press to mute it, you can see one of them is muted. The one on the far right is muted and they can no longer hear me. That is my in-game sound. That's the, my teammates in Fortnite. That's my homies on Discord. They can no longer hear me, but my stream can still hear me right here. And then a simple push and there we go. Back to chatting with the squad, letting them know there's a guy in North. I got him cracked. In-game, the way it looks set up. Go to the audio tab. Voice chat on. Open mic because we're, we're able to push to mute now. We don't have to use push to talk in game because we can push to mute right on our, our mouse. The voice chat input device is set to aux, aux output. So VB audio voice meter aux VAIO. I believe this concludes my video. Thanks for coming through and checking it out. Hope it helped.